Hi everyone, I'm Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate, and you may recall us previously discussing this Fool's Paradise produced piece, an interpretation of creator Alan Ng's low fool character attired similarly to the DC Comics hero Superman while playing a Street Fighter 2 inspired arcade game. Well, today we'll be looking at that piece's counterpart, the stunning low fool versus low fool inner enemies. Featuring the same character, but in garb representative of Batman. And the two facing off against one another is truly appropriate, as the iconic superheroes they're modeled after have a long history of clashing. But no single quote-unquote fight between them is as memorable, to comic book readers at least, as that shown in Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns miniseries, where they truly duke it out. Now when these two fight, it usually stems back to the fact that Superman and Batman are perfect contrasts of one another. Superman is an alien from the planet Krypton who wields godlike power on Earth, but this is tempered by his complex morality and his desire to better the entire planet. Batman, on the other hand, is a mortal man seeking to protect the good citizens of his city a rather black and white set of principles guiding him to punish wrongdoers. And while not necessarily at odds with one another, the inner motivations of these two certainly can lead to conflict between them, and occasionally even turn them into enemies. So returning to Fool's Paradise's Low Fool vs. Low Fool Inner Enemies sculpture set, it has all the same base components as the previous one, but several improvements were subtly made. The Fool's Fighter 2 arcade game, modeled after the classic Street Fighter 2 machines, was cast in soft vinyl for the original version. While it looked great, the give of the material allowed the decals to potentially bubble and strain. For this new version, the component was made of hard plastic, which has no flexibility to it, a perfect fix for a minor problem. Shifting our attention to the Bat Low Fool figure, it's a very similar stance and decoration to that discussed regarding the I Won't Be a Hero Tim set. In fact, the only major difference is the arms, which use the same mid-gameplay aspect as the Super Low Fool piece. But even with these, Ng made advancements to the design. With Low Fool vs. Low Fool inner conflict, Ng's massive and muscular character was a stationary sculpture. While this resulted in some difficulty getting the hands into position on the Fool Spider 2 machine, it certainly wasn't impossible. But, for this inner enemy's rendition, the arms articulate. Making their placement a piece of cake. Expertly executed, it's thrilling to see how Ng evolves his forms, learning from his missteps and improving on the product. In fact, the only aspect he hasn't been able to progress is the sculpted cape component, which does have a very noticeable seam on the underside. Though, one that thankfully isn't apparent while the piece is displayed. And, based on the teasers for the next renditions of this, gameplay concept, one that won't matter, as they lack capes. Low Fool vs. Low Fool Inner Enemies was limited to 398 sets, all of which sold out during their initial reservation period. 
For those interested in the future sets, you should follow the artist's Instagram account, Fools Paradise Toys, and his website, doublefools.blogspot.com, to be alerted when these works by him become available. Thank you for watching me, Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate. Agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts on Fool's Paradise's Low Fool vs. Low Fool Inner Enemies by commenting below as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt YouTube channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.